Hey, this is Jordan of the Great. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Hicks Analog Season 6. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this series as we're in our final season. And all the support you guys have been giving has been awesome. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, but yeah, so we're on Route 4, I believe, just north of St. Saloon City. And we're heading towards uh, Lumiois, Lumiois, whatever. We're, we're heading towards Paris um, in this France-inspired region, and uh, we're going to be going and potentially getting some very exciting Pokemon today. Uh, no catches on this route for us, uh, because we caught Tinkerbell the Flabebe the last episode. Um, so we've already used our catch for this particular route, but it um, doesn't mean we won't be getting some cool Pokemon yet this episode. Um, speaking of support, one thing I wanted to throw out there to you guys as we're... Uh, just at the beginning of the episode, and before I forget, and before everybody tunes out, um, I wanted to ask you guys, those of you guys who have been on the Nuzlocke forums before, um, I, I, I don't want to ask so much as to say, like, if you guys want to go create accounts, but at the top of the description there, there's a link, and there has been since episode one, um, to the Nuzlocke th forums thread for the Hicksath block. Um, and I've kind of neglected the Nuzlocke forums in my promotion of this series, and by that I mean I haven't, I don't really promote my series very much, but I, I kind of, after season three, really kind of gave up entirely on the forums. Um, I would post like when the finale was going to be and stuff like that, so if people really wanted to get engaged and maybe vote or something, they could do that. But largely speaking, the Nuzlocke forums have not really been, in my experience at least, very receptive to... Um, video runs. Um, they they love their comics and their stories and, and things like that. And I get that. I love all the comics and stories on there as well. Um, you know, I'm I'm currently catching back up on the uh, um, on Washi's uh, Wonderwall series, which she's been running that about as long as I've been running the Hicksat Lock. And I know uh, it sounds like things have been busy and things like that with her, but I've been catching up with on uh, catching up with that series. Um, and we got a trainer battle going here. And so I've been reading her story lock, which is amazing. Um, and uh, if you guys are interested in that, I would recommend doing that. She's doing a great run, or has been doing a great run, of Pokemon Yellow, which she is chronicling in a, a written story uh, from the Pikachu's perspective, uh, her starter, Casey. And uh, and if you guys are interested in that, you can check out the thread linked below uh, my thread, because she's been commenting on my thread. Um, she's one of the few people who have been commenting on the new Season 6 thread. So you should be able to find her pretty easily. Ooh, doing good work to the Fletchling there. Fantastic. Fantastic! Um, but, um, so, I, so yeah, they've got a lot of great um, comics, a lot of great um, stories and things like that, and they're very supportive of those kinds of things. I'm actually considering starting to do, um, turn this into kind of a multimedia type run, um, where obviously we'll continue doing the videos as usual, but then I might also sketch up a couple of panels of comics or something to go with the, each episode or something like that um, that might potentially be interesting. That's a pretty pretty shot there, Clam Pearl. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, I've, I've, can, I've given that some consideration, and, and if I end up having time, I might do that. Uh, it'll whip up even just a little something to kind of augment it. Um, might end up making it a little more... Um, interesting to people on the forums, but the point is, the link to the thread is down below, um, with kind of, I think, the, with the link, there's there's pretty typically been a call to, if you guys would please go bump that, um, just because it's the last season, I'd love to, we've lost a lot of support throughout the years of doing this series, and we've been doing it for years, which, so I totally understand, I mean, this series has been three years in the making, but... You know, it'd be cool if, uh, you know, some people who've maybe lost track of us over the years or whatever could potentially jump back in. And, and, and then just, you know, largely, this series kind of spawned out of, you know, the Nuzlocke Forums community. Um, because, you know, they're the direct community of the Nuzlocke Challenge, as well as, you know, it's, it's kind of, I, I kind of workshopped the idea there. Um, I started this kind of whole idea with a comic there, the Pentathlock. Uh, before season or generation six was announced and and then that comic kind of sputtered and died because it's just comics are really difficult like i was you know halfway through the game and like i was t 10 updates in and we still hadn't left Viridian city or whatever and so it was just it was very frustrating i was like i've got to do six seasons this how am i gonna get through it and so it just kind of died out and um, i know like people like washi who's she's been dedicated in doing her single story for the last three years or whatever i, I really uh i really hats off to hats off to her for doing that but um you know, it's just so I, I kind of decided, you know what, let's try out this video thing. I'd seen people been doing video runs. I figured, 
as long running as this thing is, it might be easier to get, you know, we can get through the game and put out updates at the same time. Uh, and so I figured that might work out. And I, I think it has. I think it has. But, um, so anyway, long story short, um, if you guys have Nuzlocke Forum accounts, um, or if you want to make one, I, I would hate to, to kind of push, hey, go make an account just to bump my thread. But, I mean, I'm going to be updating there weekly as the episodes go out. Uh, and so if you guys would be so kind as to just kind of pop in there, you know, at some point during the week, um, and just kind of leave some feedback there. Um, I, I mean, if you're going to just go on and just say bump, I don't, I don't want to be like, uh, I don't, I don't want to be, you know, what's the word? I don't know. I don't want to misuse the forums. I don't, I don't want to just, you know, send you guys there to make sure it stays at the top because, uh, you know, that's not my interest. But if occasionally somebody could, would be interested in potentially bumping that thread, I, I would appreciate it, is all I'm saying. Uh, you guys don't have to, and you definitely don't have to make accounts if you don't already have one, but if some of you guys have come from the Nuzlocke forums at one point or other and would be interested in doing that for me, I'd appreciate it. But again, no pressure, just kind of throwing that out there. But yeah, so we're heading to Lumioi City today. Um, we got our first gym badge last episode. We defeated Viola, Viola uh, the... Santaloon City Gym Leader. She was a bug type specialist, and Olaren and Wash did pretty good work for us. In fact, I should probably check my levels and see how we're doing here. Wash is level 14, is that what I just saw? Probably should switch him out. Let's take a quick look. Got distracted talking and not paying attention. Um, Wash is, yes, level 14. So I'm going to switch Sherlock up because Sherlock's only level 12. Um, at present, we still just, I mean, we, I've got Peekaboo and Kylo with us, um, but honestly, not going to, um, not really going to train them. It's not worth it. They're not going to be on the team for very long. And if it comes up that, uh, that they would be interested or, or that we would be interested in having them on the team, something happens and they're, they're necessary to be on the team, then we can go ahead and, and add them, uh, in and we'll do some training with them at that point. Um... Okay, my name's Cena. It's a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. I'm Dexio. Two years ago, Professor Sycamore entrusted me with a Pokedex. You could call me a Pokemon Voyage veteran. If you'd like, I'll show you the way to the lab. Come along now. Yep, let's go ahead and do it. We can always come back to Route 4, and I probably will at some point to clean up some trainers and stuff here, but I'm pretty excited to get to the lab because, uh, well, like, we're not doing a blind run. I, I know what's coming. Um, Professor Sycamore is going to check us out, and uh, we're going to get to battle him, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then we're also going to be, uh, ooh, a TM for return. Nice. Do I have any normal type Pokemon right now? <clears throat> uh, I, well, I guess Kazooie. Or, uh, not Kazooie. Oh, that makes me sad. Uh, I guess Wash. Uh, could potentially uh, could make use of that for stab at least, um, but uh, here we are in Lumiere City. But yeah, so we're gonna get to battle the professor, which will be fun, um, as well as uh, through that, gonna be probably getting a uh, Kanto starter, which will be even more exciting. I'm pretty sure I know who I'm gonna take, um, but I'll leave that surprise for you guys uh, once we get there. Dun, dun. Pokemon Lab, perfect thumbnail. All right, <laughs> so then we got a frow hanging out there. <clears throat> there we go, another cutscene. Fantastic. All right, this building is second worst Pokemon Lab. Let's go inside. Yeah, let's do it. Do we need a cutscene for everything? Do we just go inside the building? Come on, let's do it. All right, um, so you've traveled a long way from Vanville Town, but you're finally here. The professor can't wait to meet you. I can, you can find him on the third floor. So hop in the elevator. You need an elevator for three floors of this building? Seems a bit unnecessary, but all right. Uh, third floor, I guess. Not really that interested in exploring. I am interested in getting this new Pokemon we're going to get today, though, so that uh, works out. I guess I'll take it. Um, all right, another cutscene popped up here, and we've got Sycamore finally uh, in the flesh. So, we finally meet. His face is a little washed out. <clears throat> it's looking better for the most part this episode than it was last episode, though. Fantastic, you're here. Come this way, won't you? Fantastic, I say fantastic. Oh, this series. Um, oh, where'd he go? Oh, he went this way. Right, there we go. Many thanks for coming all the way from Vanville Town. I'm Professor Sigmore. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. How's your Pokemon journey going so far? Have you many, met many different Pokemon? Fantastic. Fantastic. Let me have a quick look at your Pokedex. I'm sorry. I just can't. So you've seen 33 kinds of Pokemon in the Central Callus then. If you say so. Oh, the pages are getting filled in. It's starting to look good. 
Well now, you do have a certain je ne sais quoi. I have a good feeling about you. At first, I was thinking of choosing only one child from a town when I was deciding who to give a Pokemon to. In Vanville Town, it was going to be a child of a Venomorn trainer I know. Uh, Serena? No, uh, yeah, no, Serena. Serena and Shauna, or two names are too close. Uh, start with this, and so they, it's confusing. All right, about then, I learned that the Rhyhorn race of Grace and her son were moving here. Here in Cal and you're far away from everything you used to know. That really hit me right here. Then it hit me. I should give a Pokemon to you, and you can travel around Kalos. Hi, Professor Ashana! Sorry to have kept you waiting. Fantastic, fantastic. Now I'll have a Pokemon battle. Your opponent shall be me. All right, let's do it. Shall we battle then? Yeah, let's do it. Just so you know, I'm not that tough. Oh, well, now you're just, you know, I was going to be all manly and beat you up a bit, but now you've kind of spoiled that, haven't you? Oh, I'm not that difficult. All right. He leads off with Bulbasaur, which is fantastic. Fantastic, because we lead off with Sherlock, who has got uh, uh, extra sensory in his pocket here. So Bulbasaur's going to use that leech seed. Oh, Bulbasaur getting hit. Getting that leech seed. And actually, he did not do as much as I would. What level? Only level 10? This could be... I mean, it'll take us two or three hits to kill him, is all. Um, Bulbasaur is using that Vine Whip. Doing a little bit of damage. Nothing I'm too worried about from Sherlock's end. There we go. Oh, Bulbasaur goes down. Alrighty. Good shot, Sherlock, there. I figured it'd take at least two more hits. Sherlock gained 204 experience. ba bow. We're level 13. Great. Um, do I have the experience all, no, I turned the experience all off just because some of my Pokemon were getting, were at the level that I wanted them to be at. Um, I'm gonna go, actually, no, let's switch. Just because it'll be funny. We'll throw Leonardo out against, uh, Sycamore's Squirtle here. Go, Leonardo! ba bow Squirtle. Perfect. Alright, so, um, do, 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 do. let's go ahead and throw up the tackle. Apparently, in this generation, Water Gun and Bubble have the exact same base power. Has that always been that way? I actually have Bubble on Leonardo now because as I was... I, he had Water Gun, but then he went to learn Bubble, and they had the same base powder. Powder. Base power, but Bubble had the ability to potentially lower speed, and Water Gun didn't seem to have any other secondary ability. Um, and so I kept Bubble, which I... It's very odd to me that Bubble would be better than Water Gun, but I don't know, maybe I missed that change at some point in an earlier generation, if that's something they did this generation. I'm honestly not sure. But that was odd to me, as I was leveling Leo and and that happened. I was like, wait, what? I was very confused. There we go. Sparta goes down. Fantastic! The Leonardo gained a boosted blah 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 blah. The Pokemon Professor Sycamore is about to send a Charmander where you switch your Pokemon. Uh, why not? Let's bring in... Let's bring in... Olorin. Bring it in Olorin, because why not? Fire on fire, we'll do it. Alright, so Olorin comes in. Ooh, he's almost level 15. I wonder if we're going to get an evolution. I don't remember... I don't remember what level he evolves at, but... Uh, Alright, so let's throw up the Howl. We have... We have ourselves a physically attacking, uh, uh, Fennekin, Bla not Blaziken, Brakes and, um, Delphox. <clears throat> I forget which one's the final evolution. I think Delphox is the final evolution. Um, but, uh, yeah. I, I double-checked on Cerebi, and I think Flame Charge is the last physical attack that this thing learned. So I don't think it's meant to be a split, a, a mixed attacker. Um, but ours is adamant. Um, and so it just kind of is, is how it's working out. Uh, and I think, flame, I mean, at this point, our attack is slightly higher, and we got Howl and Flame Charge, and Flame Charge is a physical fire attack, so it's kind of worked out thus far. I'm going to throw up another Howl, because I think Charmander was lowering our attack or something with Growls. Um, so we'll go ahead and raise attack. Charmander's throwing up that smoke screen, which could be a little annoying. I love the cute little animation that Charmander's got there while doing it, though, so, so Charmander will get a pass on that one. Um, all right, we avoided the attack. He's gonna throw up the scratch now. Let's see. Okay, we held on pretty well there. So we probably can can hang out until we get a scratch landed, which we do. Not enough to kill though, even with that second howl. That's surprising. All right, critical hit. Come on, Olorin, you got it. You got it. 
Fire starter versus fire starter. Do it now. Yes, beautiful. All right, Charmander goes down. And so we've defeated Sycamore to the best of our ability. Bullrun grew to level 15. I'd be very curious to see if we get an evolutionary character. Okay, so attack is 23, special attack 22. So we still, we're just barely over, but it is over. Um, Haha, -ha, you're too much for me. You're really something, aren't you? Huzzah! Seed 1400. Nope. No evolution from Olorin yet. Probably next level. I think I figured it out. Figured out what? Tort, you're an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic for you to look after take to look an if if you took another Pokemon with you. I thought that's a look for a second. I was like, well, wait, that's not English. Um here, pick one. Alright, so this is awesome. So we get to pick out another starter. We get to pick a Kanto starter, and um the well, last time we played through this game, we took Charmander. Um, and we had Smaug uh, on our team because we had taken Chesspin previously, um, and so uh, that. But I think you guys probably know pretty well who I'm going to pick because we already have a Fire Pokemon and a Water Pokemon on our team, and our the Water Pokemon on our team happens to be a Squirtle already. So we are going to be taking the Grass-type Pokemon Bulbasaur, who is I've been really excited to use. I got to use a Bulbasaur through... I got to use the Bulbasaur line in the Dice Lock, which I loved, um, but I, uh, please choose a Pokemon to send to the PC. Yes, we will send, um, I said Pika Blue. Um, but I'm really excited to get the opportunity to use Bulbasaur again. That's, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. So, uh, especially because Bulbasaur is one of those Pokemon, not only is he going to add grass type, I'm assuming it's a he, yeah. So not only is Bulbasaur going to add grass typing to our team, but in a generation where, um, where poison typing is now actually useful, um, we are going to also have poison typing, which I think is going to be awesome. So Bulbasaur is going to make a great addition to the team. I'm going to name this little Bulbasaur Klungar after my brother because Bulbasaur is one of his two favorite Pokemon. Um, so we've decided this its nickname will be Klungar. Absolutely. I think that's the most fitting nickname we could probably come up with. Okay, so here is the issue. We automatically get the Venusaurite because we took the Bulbasaur. So I'm going to call on you guys once again. I don't know which one to pick. It's so difficult. You'll be together for a long time. I don't know if I had two good girl voices. So just take your time. Well, I've got a feeling everyone else will show up soon. Oh, here's Tierno and uh, uh, that guy. See? Wonderful. Everybody's all here. So now that we're here, I'd like to say a few words. Be the best trainer you can be. At the same time, remember you have fun traveling. Remember to have fun traveling with your Pokemon. I also want to ask you guys to help in solving Kalos region's biggest mystery: uh, Pokemon mystery, the secret and potential of Mega Evolution. It's a new kind of evolution that occurs in battle. That's why I gave you that Mega Stone just now. It's an important clue. Mega Evolution. What should I? Sh what should we do about the Pokedex? Trevor, that's his name. Trevor, my lad. If that's what the best if, if that's what best trainer means to you, then I want you to go out there and complete that Pokedex. Mega Evolution sounds really interesting. If you're investigating Mega Evolution, why don't you go check out Campfire Town? That town has a lot of history, you might find a hint there. Now listen, if you visit many different places to complete the Pokedex, you will probably see Pokemon with many ways of living and meet people with many ways of thinking. First, accept the ways of living and thinking that sometimes can... First, accept the ways of living and thinking that sometimes conflict with your own, and think about what's really important. This will truly broaden your horizons. I feel that being different from others makes me special. Mastering Mega Evolution will definitely set me apart from trainers. Okay, a lot of dialogue and exposition there, yada, yada, yada. Um, I guess we're free to go, right? So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, so call to action here. Um, and I'm probably going to put this out on Twitter as well. Which floor would we like to go to? Let's go down to the first floor. Um, because we just got the Venusaurite, uh, because we picked up Klungar the Bulbasaur. But we also have, uh, we also have Leonardo, um who is a, our Squirtle, our transfer from Generation 1, who will eventually, you know, God willing, oh, if we lose Leonardo, I'll be so upset. But God willing, Leonardo will become Blastoise at some point. And I'm desperately going to want to Mega Evolve Leonardo. Our first starter, three years ago, we started out on this journey together. If we can't get him to Mega Evolve, that'll be very depressing for me. So, if anybody watching right now has got a Blastoise site, uh, Blastoise Megastone in their possession that they'd be willing to, at the very least, lend me for the course of this series. Um, uh, I would I would be very appreciative. All right, so we are meeting Lissandre. He is the leader of Team Flare, uh, who is the evil team of this region. Um, 
he's got something about wanting the world to be beautiful or something, so he's going to destroy the world at a certain point in this game. Spoiler. He's evil. And uh, because things aren't as beautiful as he'd like them to be, he's going to destroy the whole world or something? Or maybe he thinks the Pokemon will grant him the ability to remake the I forget what the whole crap is. It's basically... Um, it's basically Gen 4. Um, it's basically Gen 4. Um, he's gonna use G Giratina or whatever, or the, the time and space Pokemons, and remake the whole whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's Lissandre. This is, uh, this is his little assistant lady again. Alright, so I want to get out of here. Oh, another cutscene maybe? Oh yeah, everybody's coming downstairs. Team Master, this place I want to go check out! So I'll see you around! Uh, dude, I don't need to know that. I was leaving myself. There's something I want to talk to you about. I'll be waiting. Cafe Soleil, neighbor. All right. Great. I wonder what Serena wants to talk about. Why couldn't she just use the holocaster? No clue, but it seems hush hush. I'm curious about what's going on, but we should probably stay out of it. Hey, Team Meister. To get to Campfire Town, leave the lab, turn left, go straight. That Cafe Soleil was talking about is over that way, too. Thanks, Tierno, buddy. Huzzah! All right, so we're gonna go talk to Serena really quickly, and then if at all possible, oh my gosh, another cutscene. If at all possible, I'd love to get out of here and and get Klungar a battle uh, before we go. Uh, so these two dudes are leaving. Uh, just so you know, Campfire Town and are over this way. Thanks, thanks, bro. I couldn't have figured out turn left or looking at the map. Oh, it seems like these later gens they like to hold your hand a lot. But that's okay. That's okay. We're still early on. We've only got the one badge, so I guess they can assume we're noobs uh, at this point. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to raise your Pokemon? Yes, we would. Yes, we would. All right, so I believe that we just get one of the Pokemon we battled with, so I believe that Klungar is probably level 10. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys would be at all willing to trade me a Blastoiseite, um, I would be very appreciative. Um, and, uh, and so... Just let me know in the comments down below or whatever, and I will go ahead and I need to pull out my friend code so I, uh, on this game so I can give it to you guys uh, anyway. But um, we'll uh, we'll get all we'll we'll connect somehow. Uh, it's gonna be a little while before we're able to do that anyway. Um, but I'd love to have something. Ooh, excuse me, I caught my throat there. I'd love to have something kind of on hand just so I would know I've got it. Um, and obviously you can either give it to me or, or, um, you could, if you could even just lend it to me, uh, that would be great. Um, and because I, I, obviously when the series is done, I can just give it back to you and there's no big deal. All right. So we got Lissandre and Danthea and she's, I don't know, a movie star or something. And so he thinks she's really pretty. So he wants her to be part of his plans because he likes pretty stuff. And if it's not pretty, then he's not interested And in, man, this guy's shallow. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, you were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't that your duty to be ever beautiful? Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. I would make this world unchanging and eternal, so all beauty will last forever. I can't stand the thought of the world becoming ugly. But yeah, but some things become less beautiful, other things become more beautiful. It's just kind of a cyclical thing. Yeah, I mean, it keeps pretty constant, I would think, Lissandre. You're just kind of crazy. French people, am I right? And who are you two? We're nobody of consequence, lady. My name is Serena, and this is... Tor, right? I heard Sandra called you that. You both have lovely names. Oh, and you're both trainers. Don't your Pokemon look happy? I return myself in my off time. I look forward to us battling someday. In her off time? Isn't she the champion of the region or something? I feel like she's more than a trainer in her off time. <laughs> um, something to ask you. Would you be willing to compete with me to see which of us will become stronger? I know we sort of on our journey just to, after you arrived from Manville, but we are neighbors, and I think it would be fun to have a competition with you. Just so you know, I won't lose, though. No, you're going to lose probably a lot, but yeah, sure, Serena, we'll we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, if you're a Pokemon trainer, you battle everyone, no matter who they are. Yeah, okay. Well, guys, I think that's going to put us about where we want to be, so let's go ahead and quickly... Um, I think... I think this is maybe the exit to Campfire Town. Let's see if we can get out of Hollow Clip Received. Oh no. So, check this out. I'm out of Route 5 right now and I'm just hopping with wild Pokemon. Hurry and come check it out. Dude, that's what I'm doing. My gosh, with the hand holding and the things with the place. I'm trying to get out of town. There we go. Alright, so. 
Goal number one will be to get Klungar a battle here. So let me switch him up front. See what our little new Bulbasaur friend can do. All right. Oh gosh, Mr. O Powers or whatever. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bonding. Okay, come on, 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 come on. Yes, 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 yes. This guy is creepy. Received an O Power and, and everything. Yes, fantastic. Fantastic! I just want to go battle. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much? <laughs> oh All right. Please, 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 please. Is there grass? All right. Oh, okay. More stuff. Man, can't they just let me play the game, please? Yes, it's a Lucario. I'm going to meet the next gym trainer for no reason at all. Uh, sorry about that. Are you okay? I was just coming to a special training with my Lucario, not the dash on. Hey, Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn to this point? Oh, is she just going to give me this Lucario right now? I forgot about that. Uh, it seems like, uh, thanks. See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess it's something in your aura has made this one take a liking to a stranger. This Lucario's always getting worked on the battle on my other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. I'm sorry, I'm on such a roll, I even forgot to introduce myself. I'm Karina, the Shell Shalor City Gym Leader. For collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. Okay. So I don't get Lucario at this point. I think that's right. I get it in like the Mega Tower or something. Eventually she gives me that Lucario, but I wanted to, I was like, can I just catch something on this route maybe? I don't necessarily want to. All right, so let's jump into the grass here and we will do our encounter for, I believe, Tierno said this was route five. So we'll do our encounter for out here and it's a Gulpin. Fortunately, we just got a poison type, so I'm not really super interested in that. Let's see, we'll throw the leech seed up. Get that going. Gulpin was seated. There we go. Klungar, so cute! <laughs> uh, what will Klungar do? Well, the poison gas didn't seem to do anything because we are poison type, and I believe that just. Oh, he uses his little vines! Oh, I'm so excited. I've never used a Bulbasaur in this game with all the cute little um, models and everything. So this will be awesome. Uh, so let's finish off this Gulpin. He apparently can't do, well, we're not going to, we are going to catch him actually. What am I doing? Uh, we do want to catch him. <clears throat> I don't want to, I don't want to kill. Um, because he is our first catch or he's our first encounter on this route. Uh, and if, if God forbid something happens to Klungar, a poison type is useful in this region. So I will not, I will not, uh, be upset with, uh, catching this guy in the slightest. So we'll go ahead and Perfect. Beautiful. Did it up. Gotcha. Gulpin was caught. All right. <clears throat> All right. And we are going to name this guy. Let's see. Hello. It has a small heart and brain. Its stomach comprises most of its body with enzymes to dissolve anything. All right. Giving him to Gulpin? Yes. And I'm actually going to. This isn't going to make a lot of sense, so I'll give you my train of thought. But I'm going to name this guy Pops. Um. And the reason I'm doing that is because Gulpin reminds me of Big Gulp, which reminds me of Polar Pop, um, and Pops. Just, like, Pops the name, I guess. Like, Grand Pops? Poppy? Anyway. Um, anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. We'll pick up here again next week, but I think we've got plenty of content for this week's episode. We got ourselves an adorable little Bulbasaur. And a not-so-adorable little gulpin. But, all in all, a good episode. A good haul there for one day's work. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torment the Great, and you guys have been great. Uh, give some thought to um, to going over to the Nuzlocke forums right now, clicking that link just below the video, and uh, going to bump that thread uh, either today or sometime this week. Um, you know, just, just to show some activity there. You guys are great about watching it here and, and showing that people are interested in it might bring more people in. Which, you know, just sharing the sharing the excitement of this challenge, wrapping up three years in the making sort of thing. Um, so give some thought to that. And if any of you have a Blastoise site or would be willing to, I guess, play through the game to get a Blastoise site and send it to me, um, I would appreciate that as well. However you want to do that, if, if somebody is willing to do that, even just to lend it to me if you need it back after the series is over, no problem at all. But give some thought to that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torn with the Great, and you guys have been great. Make sure to leave those likes, comments, subscriptions for me, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Alrighty, have a good one.